Hello, and welcome to lesson number four in the Domaining Power course. I'm your teacher, Morgan Linton, from DomainFlipBlog.com. And you might want to know why I'm so dressed up today. Well, the reason for that is that lesson number four is all about selling your domain name. So if you've watched the past videos, then you now understand how to buy a domain, uh, as well as what domaining is, the idea of investing in domain names, and lesson number three, which is essential for this lesson, which is understanding the range that your domain will sell within. And once you have this information, then you're ready to sell your domain name. Now, in future lessons, I'm going to talk about ways you can increase the value of your domains. But for the basics that we're covering here, I really want to make sure people know how to buy a domain name, how to understand the value of that domain, and then how to sell a domain name. And so there are a number of different places online that you can sell your domain name. And you know, each one is different uh, based on the type of domain you want to sell, and there are advantages and disadvantages to each. Um, as a new domainer, I'll try to steer you in the direction of things that involve uh, less heavy one-on-one -on -one negotiation with buyers and more focus on easy, streamlined transactions. As you get more savvy with selling domain names, you'll want to focus more on negotiating larger deals with individual buyers. Uh, to start out with, it's okay to go after smaller buyers to sell multiple domain names. That's really some of the strategies I'll focus on to begin with. So, when you're looking to sell your domain name, one of the first places that you can go is a listing service. This is somewhere like Sado, Afternick, or Snap Names. And what they allow you to do is to create an account and to list really however many domain names you want as long as they are approved by the given company. And most of the time your domains will be approved as long as they're not really explicit. And um, I really wouldn't suggest starting off selling adult domain names. I would really focus on selling strong keyword domain names and just run a legitimate domain business and your domains will be accepted by a listing service. Um, the advantage of listing service is it's very easy to set up really a, a listing as you would a house listing for your domain name where you can point out uh, different characteristics. Does the domain have any revenue? Does it get any traffic? Uh, has there been a developed website on it before? Is there a developed website on it now? How long ago was it registered? Whatever qualities you feel make the domain special, you can put in the listing just like you would a home listing. So if you're familiar with real estate investing, this is where a lot of your skill set can come into use because writing a detailed and well-written listing can go a long way towards selling your domain. So if you have a domain name that has strong keywords, it's getting revenue, um, there's a good amount of traffic, growing traffic hopefully to the domain, a listing service might be a good way to look because you can actually specify all of that information and really call that out to the buyer. Now, the downside to a listing service is that oftentimes your domain can be like a needle in a haystack. There's a lot of people listing domain names with listing services, which means that you are competing with all of them. Now you can do things like have your domain category featured or homepage featured. Uh, these tend to be a waste of money, and I would steer away from these. You're probably going to throw away money, especially if you have a domain that's selling in the one to two hundred dollar range. I wouldn't spend thirty or forty dollars upgrading your listing. It's probably not going to sell. Really, you'd want to make a listing featured if it was a really, really strong domain. If you own the domain car.com and you want to sell that, make it a featured listing, you're going to get bids. If you have a simple two or three keyword domain that you think is worth $200, $150, I would stick with just listing it. And a domain like that is, is going to be a little harder to move uh, through a listing service, and that's where you'll need to look at some other strategies. So in, in summary, when looking at a listing service, this is a great way to be able to give more detail about your domain. So if you have a domain name that has some distinguishing characteristics, existing revenue, traffic, a domain, something that you think makes it attractive to buyers, this is a place that you can make that known and a good place to get started because there are not as many scams going on, it's a smoother payment transaction, but you will be paying a commission to the listing service. So you're going to lose probably 10 to 15 percent of that domain sale price just paying that service. Well, another place you can look is eBay. Now, I'm not going to talk about this very much because I really don't think eBay is a great place to sell your domain name and I would actually steer clear of this when getting started. And so that's really all I'm going to say about eBay. If you would like to sell your domain on eBay, you can go ahead and give it a shot, but I would advise you to stay away from this as a beginner. There's a lot of scams going on eBay. It's easy to lose your domain, to not get paid, uh, not a lot of high value domains being sold there. Really, I would stay away from that getting started. Um, then there's domaining forums. This is a great place to sell your domain as long as you understand you're going to be getting rock bottom 
for it. So don't expect to put your domain on a form and say, oh, I think it should sell for two or three hundred, but I'm going to put it up there for a thousand and see what happens. Nobody's going to be interested. These are very savvy domainers, and if you want to list a domain in a forum, you really have to make sure that it's a strong domain, understand that the people you're selling to do understand the appraised value. So if you understand what value it will sell in, they understand it too. So you're not going to be able to start at a high price and talk them down. You're really going to be starting at a, at a pretty low price and they're going to try to talk you down. Uh, I would not suggest this for beginning domainers, but as you become more experienced selling domains, this is a great way to do some quick sales as long as you understand you're going to be getting the very lowest price you possibly could for your domain. Then there's domain brokers. These are professional companies that will actually broker the domain for you, and my company actually does this, Linton Investments, and what we do is you can essentially give us your domain portfolio uh, or the right to sell your domain portfolio, and we find active buyers. There's a lot of different domain brokerage services um, available online, and this is great if you have some high-value domains and you want access to clientele that likes to buy either strong keyword or high-value domain names. Um, and it's a little more personalized transaction. Once again, you will be paying a commission. Oftentimes it can be less than you'd pay um, with a listing service, which is nice as well. Uh, you do get access to a smaller buying group and you're not in the same type of exposure level you get with a listing service where you'd have hundreds of thousands of people potentially seeing your name. Um, outside of that, you can talk about it on your blog or make a personal site for selling your domains. But really, I would stick to listing services and domain brokerage to start out with getting ready to sell a domain name for your first time. And I think I'm probably out of time. YouTube has this 10 minute time limit I keep running against. So thanks for listening and I look forward to talking to you in lesson five. Please remember to check out my book available at www.dnflipping.com. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my newsletter, please go to www.insidedomainflipping.com, sign up, and I'll give you all the inside information you need to know to get ahead in the world of domain flipping. And, of course, don't forget to read my blog, www.domainflipblog.com. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.